What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Need for Speed No Limits Just nice at the opening of this video we have that front screen of the Need for Speed No Limits And in today's video we will be looking at the flashback event Now you guys really are aware that I am playing on the flashback for Devil Runs And Devils Run on the Alpine Store Storm, what am I saying? So this is basically on the Porsche 918 Spider, and uh, like why is going back to what I did mention earlier on the first video for this particular flashback specifically, I did mention that it is a little bit bored. I'm not sure why and what went wrong, but that's how basically I felt. So um, I was going through that whole event, and then I noticed like, hey, something is definitely wrong somewhere and uh of course it's still coming down to where i've not driven that car for so long so it's basically coming down to which point did we miss out in the game and uh one thing for sure the 918 spider event it's tough yes which is pretty cool but then because the car has been quite some time in the game and you know it's something that not really hype on so i decided just to uh, not to spend any goals on buying some parts or whatsoever but instead just using my time to grind whatever that is possible so likewise i did mention a little on just the uh, be aware that probably I will not be getting this car in my garage which I can clearly see they are not gonna get it so nothing to be hyped on but if I get the car it's good for me if I don't it's okay I don't lose anything either unless like a new car just came in something that everyone is like having their Goosebumps on adrenalines and so on like that. Yep, that probably will get me, but as of current, uh, it's a bit slow. So let's go for some more parts. If you guys wondering why am I doing this at first, this is because um, I have three gas remaining on the Alpine Storm Street Storm event. And I just decided just to do this so I can buy some time a little bit. I still love this 911. Ooh, that's quite a lot of knots. Just spring most of the time. Alright. At least we unlock something for the car. Okay. Now, let's go back what we came for. Oop, we do have some missions. 150 gold. There you go. This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> awesome. We got that reward. You guys saw that. Alright, let's go for Devil's Run. 
Let's go for this part. I'm gonna buy all this. See, even the purchase takes some time, which is a bit annoying. It's not responsive. I mean, it is responsive, but the delay time is too long. Let's put this part. Let's put this. 757. Still in the 757 zone. Alright, as of current, chapter 6. And I'm stuck at the last one. 760. And we are at 757, which is super close right now. Because this is a couple of parts that I require. So, likewise, Sonia yet so far. So, this is some of the example. But let's go for some parts. Uh, I'm still gonna go for grinding, and if I'm not able to grind by the end of tomorrow, well, I do not get a car. That's for sure. Let's go for this. Just trying to drift as much as possible. Anyway, do not trust this number. This is not the actual fact that I'm there. When you do those flashbacks, this is what happens. You'll be seeing all those whole numbering. 4,000 of uh, credit points gained from there. Really pushing for that engine. That's basically my target point at this very moment to get myself to 760. Then the final race will be a huge difference. And I'm assuming it will be 790 something. the same thing again and again oh awesome got those parts for the engine I don't think so there will be some effect no, okay, and at least there is something, 758. So at least about two more to reach 760. Let's try to gain one more at least, hopefully. Rest of four. Language. I love how this graphic look at the standard right there. Lightning striking around.
1407 Ah, oh, come on Now we're gonna have to move sensor or some cash Let's see what we get Yep, cash So now we have about 17,000 of credit points right there Yep, fully aware Not really happy because we are still far away 760 is the current PR that are required to finish up the chapter 6 if I'm gonna fast track that's gonna cost me about 280 that's a bit bomb for me despite me having a 801 of gold I'm not gonna utilize that so that's basically where we are at the moment another 23 hours as of current then from there I'm not sure where we would be it's a big question So much of close call. I always make sure that I complete all at least nine of the daily goals just to ensure that I have sufficiently collected all that. It's quite important for me. So I would always juggle around the moment I finish three per day and then I just stop. There you go, event requirement, car select. Oh man, really? Alright. You guys remember this titan? <laughs> that event is massive. Look at that, 948 and 929, that's pretty close. mine there you go Ooh. to be frank I did spend quite a lot of time in uh, coming up this color So one thing I noticed that this particular run when you're doing it, you cannot drift most of the way because it's going to slow down yourself and your opponent will be taking you away. So you got to ensure that you have those um, speed maintained so you do not get kicked back over here. Alright, another one more race for this and then we shall gain the 9th out of 9 daily reward. The Venom GT. Wow. Come on. There you go. 
lovely car. Ah, wait. Not a good area for us to start on. those race of titans this is extremely close one all right so in this case we should be earning that nine out of nine daily rewards all right guys so with that i'll be wrapping up this video right now thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate the most if you are new hit the subscribe button like the video down below leave your comments as usual and I'll get back to you. So with that, I'm Chris. And this is Need for Speed No Limits. And I'm out. Peace.